fight hard, fight clean, good luck to both of you. In Dongo, Crawford, all four belts, junior welterweight championship. To the country by giving him the third best fighter in the world. Southpaw against the Southpaw. Crawford is listed as an orthodox fighter. Not Crawford. Fight fire with fire. Very comfortable going Southpaw. And Dongo, he's straight forward and he's straight backwards. A good looking counter left hand from Crawford as Ndongo lunged in. That you missed. He's faster. Quicker hands. He buzzed Ndongo with that straight left. Got his attention right away. One dimension of Ndongo. The power hand, the back hand to the southpaw. Crawford, one of the best switch hitters in the game, can do it either way. He's going to meet fire with fire and be in that southpaw stance, no matter which stance he's in. Fighting and, and defending his belt. Remember, he won his first world title with a first round knockout. Who's got the physical strength? Who has the size, the length, the speed? All those things that I think favors Crawford, the intellect. And then an exchange moments ago, end of one here for all four titles. Set traps. Take a little step back, get in Dango to reach a little bit, give up his height. One of nine punches he connected with, according to CompuBox, in that first round. The setup punch and a power punch, the left hand. And it comes from a place where your peripheral. So many ways to deal with a tall guy. Bring your feet, come behind your jab, and get close. And On paper, it's a three inch height advantage. There's a swinging, swiping left hand from Ndongo. Crawford gets right back into the kitchen and the crowd reacts. And I think just overall, Crawford is just more settled. And when you're settled as a fighter, see the shots that you need to land. Good shot from Crawford right there, but Ndongo's still just a little tight. And then on the back end, a right hand to the body. is a great finish. See how straight they are, how concise they are. Nearly clipped him again. Came hunting with a right hook as they tie up in the final seconds of round two. Big round for Bud Crawford. Right hand to the body. You're going to see the left hand coming up right there behind the ear. And Mama's happy. And we mentioned it earlier, Teddy. You know, whether it's orthodox or southpaw, he has the ability to put you on your seat. The skill, the power, the speed, total package. It's is in Crawford. his career. Not the case for Crawford. Crawford has a long list. And Dango still looking a little unsure about what he wants to do offensively. Left no. uppercut tried to split the guard, and Dongo came forward that time. But you can see some doubt, to your point, Andre. Bad punches to your club in two different ways. Punch in between them. Another knockdown score with a vicious body shot. Oh, my, what a body shot. Eight, nine, ten. Bud Crawford is the undefeated, undisputed champion. But with fat punches, you can punch in between them. And that's exactly what Crawford did. Just watch. Wide punches create holes. There's a big hole underneath. Left hand to the body by the southpaw of Crawford. I love it. It's, it's body punching. Body punching is a lost art in our sport. We got a lot of head hunters. Everybody wants to highlight real knockout, but the body doesn't move like the head does. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One minute, 38 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner. By way of knockout, still undefeated. And now, the undisputed junior welterweight champion of the world. From Omaha, Nebraska, Terry.